Hey Bizarre Marketers, it's Tim Summers. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about marketing, tools, tips, and tricks to help you grow your business. And I'm super excited about this video today. Uh, There's a tool that we've been talking about all the time and do tutorials on. It's called Canva and they have just released a long-awaited function where you can now curve your text. This has been long overdue. It's one of the, the biggest things that people have been requesting. It's one of the things that I've been requesting and uh, it's finally here. So I'm gonna show you how to curve your text in this video. All right, so I'm on my uh, Canva desktop here in the back uh, area. And um, so before I show you the curve text, I wanna show you a few other important changes that have been made recently that are very, very cool. So before you could, um, go in and change these element colors you'd have to do them all one by one so if you had a, a template that you were using and it had multiple colors on it you'd have to go in and change every single one of the elements by themselves individually so now you can go in here and let's grab this one we go to the color and then we're going to change that to the teal and then you, now you'll see down here change all so change all red to teal so if you click on that it's going to put a check in there and you'll notice that little swoosh there or circle change to the teal to match that so that's a very cool new tool so the second one is changing the style of and it works great on text so changing the style of an item so say um you're in here you got these two different texts there are two different fonts and now you decided you want to make um you know everything the same font same color everything like that so if you grab on the one that you want to change and you go to this little copy style it changes the styles and then you click into here and now you click on to this part and it changed that to match the color and the font so that was in all caps so it kind of looks different but um, you can see that that was just so quick and easy before you'd have to go grab that go find the font find the color change it over so super quick and easy and you know it's easy to like undo something that you wanted to change back going oh, no, i don't really like that font so i'm going to check change a different one now but that little uh change style is very very cool and makes things fast now so the third thing before i get into the curve text is aligning your elements so um, in particular let me just move these smaller if you're doing something that has you know i'm going to copy and delete or i'm sorry make this three different elements here so let's say you're doing these three elements and you're trying to get them all lined up straight you know you can get this way straight pretty good because it gives you this line you get to that pink line in there so you can see that they're kind of all up oh, there you go now they're all three lined up that way but what it doesn't do is make sure that they're spaced out evenly so if you have all these together and you're trying to get the spacing right so now if you just grab all three of those kind of click and hold and then you go up to position and then you do horizontal right here it's going to move them all and put the exact amount of space between each one of them that's so huge i used to like put little blocks in between them trying to figure out all right is that enough space between there oh geez that looks like it's over too much so that is just huge you can also do it the other way vertically um so vertically and it'll bring it down or up um it actually didn't work because i was uh, clicked into too, too many different items there um actually does it this way is the better way to show you and make them all smaller here so they'll fit so you're trying to do the vertical spacing so that one's real close there so first you can do them vertically you can also align them the top the middle so we go there they're, they're all on top of each other that didn't work very well but if you do the vertical that'll move that middle one up so now they're vertically spaced there that's just a huge time time saver i love that part of it all right so now let's get into the curve text so this is so fun so i'm just going to put in some new text here social media so there was actually no way easy to curve text in canva other than taking each letter and like spacing it around a circle and take forever so never were able to take advantage of that so now you can grab this element you go to effects 
and you'll see now this curve text is here oh my goodness that's exciting so I hit curve text just that fast it curves it so that is just so long overdue it's one of those things that curve text is very important and just makes your designs much better, different and better so um, you can do a couple of things here when you go to the curve text you can change it you know different angles and arcs and we have all the Adobe products this is so much easier than Adobe Illustrator or any of those trying to curve the text and you know make it fit the area that you need it to and then you can also go vertically and curve it around that way so cool you can do you know if you grab this and you can duplicate it and then you can curve this one the other way you just kind of make this text you know I mean that is just I'm so excited about this feature I'm so I can't even tell you just can't even tell you so that is just uh, one of the new exciting things um, I'm going to I'm gonna show you I'm going to make a little heart around my little guy here so my little guy my little bitmoji bitmoji Tim so if you grab this and we're just going to make this a little closer we'll duplicate it and I'm going to change this to say Canva is best and if you move this out ugh. There we go, sorry, the click off to make it work here. So those don't actually match up very well the size wise, but you get the idea. Um, so we can go down here and we can roll it around. Just trying to make a little heart over my little fella here, my little Timoji. But man, what a game changer. So um, tell me if you're excited about this in the comments, how you're gonna utilize it. Um, this heart doesn't work very well. I should have thought this out before I did it, but it was kind of the spur of the moment kind of thing, but um, Just amazing new tool that you can do here and uh, I'm very excited about it. So this is Tim from Bizarre Marketing If you have any questions about Canva or any of your other social media, please drop them in the comments and like share and subscribe to our channel Have a great rest of the day. We'll talk to you soon And I'm going to change it to my primary color. But then if you scroll down here, you'll see change all. And that's going to change everything that was pink to the teal color. And you'll watch that little circle there. As soon as I click it. Ugh. It's not clicking.